video artists Susanna Carlisle and Bruce Hamilton immerse themselves into the world of bees. For the past 10 years or so, we've been very engaged with man's impact on the environment. And I think climate change is really the pervading force. We look at what we can address to really bring an awareness to this issue. For instance, we went to the grocery store one day and we saw a praying mantis on the street that was struggling. So we ran back home and got a um, mason jar and put the praying mantis in the mason jar and brought it back and put it on our portal and grabbed the video camera. So it made us think about uh, insects which are disappearing faster than any other species. We see something that interests us and it may not, we may not have an idea for a piece at all, but I will document it. The discovery is not only what we find, but also what we learn in the process. The symbolism that we try and use is maybe not obvious in terms of selecting materials. Yeah. One of the pieces we've made is called Untitled Shell that we gave an illusion of this a very old fossil of Malapteroponti, and we abstracted into this object a finished piece that we can then project video on. So we try and take our video experience and shooting and put them into some sort of environment. Susanna's recent shooting has all been on the bees, so we're out in the environment documenting their behavior. I do really um, want to feel what I'm doing, and I always hand hold the camera. I can be very, very still holding the camera, but I, the camera does move because I breathe. And I think that gives it a very poetic energy. For the bee project at 516 Arts for the pollination series, the most important part is a meditative space. I wanted people to feel what I felt. I wanted them to really see the beauty of bees by making, projecting them and making them bigger, and also to show the, the industry that they have, how busy they are, and how they have a really very structured life. Bees evolved a hundred million years ago from uh, carnivorous wasps. And then 87 million years ago, honeybees, they evolved concurrently with flowering plants. 
So they got very interested in the color of the flowers and the nectars, and they started pollinating plants, and that's how flowers and plants proliferated on Earth was, you know, basically the bees were very, very influential in doing that. There are lots of other pollinators, but bees are very old. Without bees, we wouldn't have nuts, fruits, vegetables. We would be eating meat, fish, grains, because grains are not pollinated by the bees. But So the food supply on Earth is, is really going to be compromised if the bees disappear. The Industrial Revolution has really changed our relationship to nature because we are part of nature, though we've sort of separated ourselves from it. And we can't lose sight of the natural world because if we do, we may be the next fatality in this extinction. When we're making a piece, we're trying to maybe unconsciously address these issues. You know, why do we have this footprint? Is there a way we can minimize it? It's a curiosity. And it's a sense of appreciation and awe at what Mother Nature has created what we have on this planet. I think all we can do is really uh, bring forth what, what we feel about something and hopefully somebody will be moved by it.